Did you know that more than 20% of the waste in our landfills is actually food waste? Well, today we're going to show you a great way to turn some of that food waste into a nutrient-rich compost that's perfect for feeding your garden or landscape plants. Vermicomposting, or worm composting as it's often called, is one of the best ways that homeowners can easily turn their fruit and vegetable scraps into a valuable compost. Today I'm going to show you an easy way to make your own worm compost system for under $20. To get your worm bin started, you're only going to need about four basic materials. The first thing are a couple plastic storage crates. I picked these up from Home Depot for about $12. The next thing that you're going to need is bedding material. You can use straw like this, which came from an old waddle that we used for erosion control. You can also use dried leaves like you see here. And you can even use just shredded up pieces of paper bags and newspaper. You're also going to want to have a drill so that you can drill some holes in the bottom of your plastic containers. And then last of all, you'll need a bag of red wiggler worms. These are different than the night crawlers that you get from a fishing tackle shop or something like that. Make sure that you purchase red wiggler worms because they do the best for worm composting. The first thing we're going to do is drill some holes in the bottom of one of our crates. You only need to drill holes in one because the other one is going to be used to actually catch any water that drips down from your compost system. Now that we've got our holes dug, I'm going to go ahead and put a couple bricks in the bottom of our other container. This will help keep the containers from getting stuck to each other once we fill it up with worms. You want your budding material to be about the dampness of a wrung out sponge. Once you've gotten your bedding wet, fill up your container about three quarters of the way full. Once you've got the bedding added, go ahead and add your worms on top. And that's it. You're ready to start your own worm compost bin. Stay tuned for one of our upcoming videos to learn more about how to maintain your worms so that they stay healthy so that you can keep your garden healthy. Thank you.